Hi, thanks for joining me again. So after we released Templator, we received some really great feedback from our users. So we've added some features. Now, in this example, I'm going to show you how you can toggle a layer's visibility directly from within your spreadsheet. We're going to show you this in the context of this character animated explainer video. And then we're going to show you the feature in a more basic way so you can get started with your own projects. All right, so I've already linked a spreadsheet that I set up prior to this screencast. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just cycle through, through some of the rows in that spreadsheet to show you really what this is all about. So for preview uses, I'm going to go ahead and do start row and then click preview. And what we're going to see here is this character swap out. So we're, now we're back at the business character animation. So you'll see that the eye icon is enabled for this character biz. Now, if I go to my next row in the spreadsheet and click preview, you're going to see that this eye toggles from here and moves up to the dock one. And then if I do next row again, the same thing happens, but now the eye is going to move to the professor layer. So we're kind of waiting for it to go through all the layers there. Okay. So now that we understand how this or what the end result is, let's take a look at the spreadsheet to see how it's all set up. Okay. So here's the spreadsheet. We've got the standard ID column, and then we've got the name of the character that we're showing. And then we have the profession of that character, which is also in one of the scenes in the explainer video. And then here on these five columns right here, these are all the characters. Now you'll see this new notation and this notation we're calling a layer flag. Now layer flags are just terms, but they're wrapped within double braces so that it won't conflict with any text that you might have otherwise. So here what we're seeing is that if you use the term off as a layer flag, you can see that that layer will hide. So for the business man named Gordon, we don't have that flag in this particular layer here for this particular render job, but all of the other ones are turned off. So in the doctor row, you can see that the doctor one does not have the flag, but all of the other ones do. So the method by which you toggle the visibility of a layer is by simply entering in the term, I'm sorry, the layer flag off. Now, if anything but of this layer flag is inside a cell, it's going to display that content within your composition. Now, if we go back up to the first row with Gordon, the business guy, um, under his layer here for character dash biz, we enter in off, we can now ensure that all of the character layers will be turned off. So if we go back into AE and do start row here, and then hit preview, what we're going to see is Gordon's name come up here, but then he's going to be missing because all of these layers are now turned off. All right, so let's go back into the spreadsheet and turn him back on. So what we're going to do is delete that flag. Now, one thing to note is that this AE project has multiple scenes comprised of those uh, characters. So if I go and if I move into scene two, you know, I'm going to advance this a little bit. You can still see that, Gord you know, the character still missing. But if I go into scene two, you're going to see that the same setup is here. You know, I've got all my character composition layers. I've got my templator settings effect applied to every single one of those layers. Okay. And now if I go and hit preview again, you're going to see that the character comes out in this segment right here, or I'm sorry, in this area of the composition right here. So now let's go ahead and do next row. So, this essentially allows you, I'm just showing you this because I want you to recognize that, you know, you can do the same setup for all the characters and every scene that they might be used in. So this is useful insofar as, you know, your client comes to you and says, well, we want this explainer video to be about a doctor, or we want this explainer video to be about, you know, the designer or the farmer or whatever. Um, you can set up your projects in such a way that, you know, you can control the customization of this explainer video via your spreadsheet. So if I, you know, click next row again, we can see that now instead of the physician, it's about a professor. And then, you know, following that is, is the farmer. So let's go ahead and back up and see how we can use this technique in a much more simplistic fashion, just so you can get a sense for building something from the ground up. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a new project. All right. So this is going to be our blank slate. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to our spreadsheet app, our Google Sheets. I'm going to go to my Sheets Home, add a new sheet, and then we'll just call this Templator 
basic layer toggling. And you know, we'll just add an ID column here. And then, you know, we'll have some sample layer that just displays some text. So let's go ahead and create a new composition. And we'll just use our standard uh, 720p just so you know things can move along. Click OK. And let's go ahead and create a new text layer. So click on my text tool, call this headline. And let's you know change that color to something more reasonable. And make sure that okay. So now that we've got this headline text here, um, let's go ahead and just make this something a little bit more general. Um, Officina. And let's turn off the all caps. And get a real headline there. And let's go ahead and see how we can turn this guy on and off. So since we set up the spreadsheet here with sample, I'm going to go ahead and change this text layer to sample. And I'm going to go ahead and apply the data clay templater settings effect to it. Now, um, you know, I, I can go ahead and I'm going to align this to the top, initialize it to the center, and then give that padding maybe of a 50, something like that. And I'll just do current state. Okay, so if we go back into the spreadsheet and say, you know, um, welcome to data clay, new features released, enjoy the ease, um, best of luck. Okay, so now if we go back into here, problem is that we haven't linked the project to the correct one. So if we go to basic layer toggling, there's our sheet. Now I do preview. Welcome to data clay, new features released, enjoy the ease. Let's go ahead and set up a scale factor of something like, you know, 85%. Okay, so there's our text. Now, if we want to, let's say, turn off one of these in some you know, for some reason, for one of our jobs, we can just instead of saying new features release or enjoy the ease, we can just set this to off like that. Now, if we go to next row, you're going to see that it's hidden for this particular job. You can see that it's previewing row four, but it's hidden. So if we go to the spreadsheet, row four is certainly off. So let's go ahead and fill these out to headline one, headline two, headline three, headline four so that we can see exactly in our console. So headline five is on, headline one is on, headline three. So you, you get the idea. So you can do that now for any type of layer. It doesn't just have to be text layer. You can apply you know, this to a, a comp layer, a footage layer, or what have you. So off is definitely the way to go. Now, um, if nothing is here, um, you know, it's still going to look like it's off, but actually, you know, if we take a look at the eye icon here for the layer, when we get to the headline, what is it, uh, headline three, the layer is it's in fact still on, right? But uh, by virtue of the fact that it's a text layer. So if I do off, whoops. Um, and do, you know, next row, next row, next row, next row. Now you can see the eye is turned off for the headline three. Okay. So that's how you can easily, you know, use the tag and use it creatively to, you know, swap out certain things in your composition, depending on, you know, what you want in your customization.